So I have a Samsung Galaxy S9 here. There's several different ways, but nice. Oh. There's Snap, you'll see the phone clicker as well. So ready, one, two, three, press hold. Welcome, welcome, everyone. This is the Royal Blue. And trainer, and gather everybody together here. Very nice. Hey, Brother William. All right. Trying to gather everybody here together. We're talking about kingdom values. This is the Royal Rulers and Training. We do this from September to May. The end of the last two weeks in September, the first two weeks in May. And it's from 7 to 7.30. Then we ask them question see what people have gotten um as we share we iron sharpens iron and um we reiterate what we have just learned and the purpose is to apply that truth that you got today so we've been talking about kingdom value for the last couple of weeks and so here we go okay let's get started and uh, let me say a, a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, for your word that will go forth. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that your word does not return to you void. We thank you, Lord God, that every ear that hears, that they uh, hear the word of, your, you hear uh, what thus says the spirit of God, for your word is spirit and it is life. So open up our ears that we will understand the scriptures open up our minds, and enlighten the eyes of our understanding. So have your way, Father, uh, as we learn these uh, principles and truths about who we are in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, let's get started here. Kingdom values. We're talking about values. The last We stopped here yesterday 
let me guess today last went uh thursday about values and that we we uh emphasize on that your value your creative value is you are made in the image of god you're made in the image of god you were created with a value uh i think about the scripture uh first corinthians uh four i think it's four seven it talks about uh, we are vessels earthen vessels and um i think about that song too <laughs> but it talks about that this power in us it's power you you you're full of power you're a vessel with a treasure full of power and so what you got to do is really is dormant right now because you have to learn how to use what God has given to you and what God has sent you here. Now, this here picture over here on the side where it look like a shooting star coming through that, that cloud or something. That's you being, you just, I want you to just think about this. Use your imagination. Think about God has sent you here on assignment. That's you being sent onto earth with the gift that he placed inside of you. Uh, because the earth has a problem and he sent the solution in you. Y'all grab y'all grasp that? Yes. Okay. So I just want you to, you know, grasp that, that thought and that imagination, and which is uh real and, and true and, and from um from the definition of, of the faith. A thought is a thought, an expected thought that is true and real. And you were sent here by God on assignment with this treasure inside of you. It's, he, he placed something inside of you to give to the world. And so that's what we got to uh, continue to seek his kingdom first and his righteousness so he can continue to reveal and unfold until you you uh you call it uh until you have fulfilled your purpose while you're here okay so <laughs> let me move on from there now purpose somebody read that in the blue let me move this picture here when y'all read that purpose is come on purpose uh, hold up Okay, I'm gonna read it. Purpose, purpose is, purpose, purpose is when you know and understand what you were born to accomplish. Vision is when you see it in your mind and begin to imagine it. Awesome, awesome. So purpose is when you know and just don't just know. And you see that? that and that makes it something else. Now know and understand what you were born to accomplish. Vision is when you see it in your mind and begin to imagine it. So do you see the vision right there? <laughs> That's the vision of you being you being dispatched to Earth, because there's a problem in the Earth, and you're supposed to is a solution. That you have this the solution. You can't solve all the problems, but the one that you have, the solution that you have, is supposed to solve a problem in the Earth. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Somebody read that. Which one? Uh, first one, how you read from the right to the left, or from the left to the right? How you doing? What is your unique value? What is your that's a question for you? What is your unique value? Then we talked about what value is. I'll probably go ahead to go back to uh to that definition again. Value, all right. What is your unique means to something that only you can do? It's a, a value that you have. Uh, or not just what you can do, but a value that you have that you can make it so. I'm going to use my eyebrows again as an example, okay? <laughs> when I go to the shop to get my eyebrows done, it's only one person I know that does it 
the way I like it. So that's a unique person that does it the way you like it, or you do it a certain way that a lot of people like what your what you have as a uh, your value. And what did we say value was? Your what? Purpose. Purpose. No, your gift is your value. Remember, Whoa. you remember you have to maximize the potential of that gift you have. And first of all, you need to find out what the gift is. Okay, you we learn what our true identity is. We learn in what our, our, our divine purpose is, which is the assignment that God has given to you. Specifically, there's a general assignment that all believers have. And there is one that God has specifically assigned to you. And so your value, your gift assists you in the purpose that you are sent here. Okay? It assists you in your assignment for uh, to solve a problem. Okay? Your gift. So your creative value is that you were made in the image of God. You have, God has given you a gift. That's a, that is a, a solution to a problem in the earth. And so uh, your value is the gift which assists assist you in your assignment. Got it? Yes. Yes. I'm going to ask you what that means, okay? So don't just say yes. You really need to understand it, okay? So think about what you just said yes to. And be able to tell me this in your own words, what I just said. Okay? Okay. All right. Now, tell me in your own words what I just said. Uh... <coughs> Yeah, your words. How can I really say it in my own words? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Egghead. Okay. <laughs> what is your unique value? And what we just talked about value. Your creative value is in God, right? Because you were made in his image. Mm -hmm. After his likeness, right? Yeah. Now, and he has given you a gift, which is your value that you're supposed to uh, maximize the potential of this gift. You're supposed to hone in on it, learn everything about it you need to learn. And then this gift, your spiritual gift, it assists you in your assignment on the earth. God has sent you here to solve a problem. So your gift assists you, it's the value that assists you in your, uh, your assignment. All right, anybody get that? Mm -hmm. All right, tell me your own words. Just tell me what you got. Um, um, hold up, my, my, hmm. Okay. It's ticking, the clock is ticking. Why are you uh, doing that? We're gonna do solution on the other side. Read the other side, Lonnie, while you're doing that. Solution plus value plus impact. Yeah, see that? Solution. Because you have an answer to a problem in the earth. Okay, that's a plus. Your value is your gift. Okay? So your gift is a solution. Okay? Which is your value. And when you learn how to use what you have or maximize the potential of it, it makes an impact where it was a problem that, that you, you're, you're going to solve. Hello. Okay. Una, dos, <laughs> All right. Okay, now give me what you got. Uh, um, I got um, uh, um, my notes. Um, what you got, Lonnie? Why are you looking at his notes? Okay. Purpose is when you know. Okay. 
tell you that. I have the earth has a problem and God put the solution in us. Yes, that's very good. I came, I came good, good. Earth has a problem. God put the solution in you before he sent you here. That's good. I'm glad you shorten it up. But I, I think I know what you're saying. Sounds like what I said. Lionel, your purpose, uh, you said purpose is what? When you, it's when you know. <laughs> when you know what you were born to do? Yeah. Let me hear you say that. Purpose is when you know what, what, what you were born. But you just believe that? Or what? Born to rule. Do. Do. There's do. something you're supposed to do. Okay? It's something you're supposed to do. All right? <clears throat> Stay focused, Lonnie. Okay? I am. All right, brother. I just didn't get the, the chance to write it all. Did you see it? Oh, uh, okay. You got to do shorthand. All right. Let's look at this kingdom value. It's on Matthew 6, verse, uh, let me see, 19 to 24. We're going to read this together, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Somebody read a paragraph and then somebody read the next paragraph. Matthew 6, 19 to 24 is what we're reading from. It's kingdom values. All right, let's start. Do not. Oh, do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth where moth the rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal but lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where these do not break in and steal I can be second. for where your treasures is there your heart will be also the lamp of the body is the eye, and if therefore your eye is good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be filled with of darkness. Okay, I'll let you stop you right there. Now read the rest. Okay. <clears throat> Where did he stop off at? Darkness. Darkness, darkness, darkness. It says if you see the word if that's where you start it. Nah, I'm needed. Uh is it like is it uh go near the king, numbers? Point to where is that point king? No one can serve to master up. No. It's how great is the dark is the darkness. Can you point to it, King? Just point to it. How great is the darkness? No one can serve two masters for e other either. He will hate it, that the one who and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the despise. other. Despise the other. You cannot serve the God of Mama. <laughs> And mammon. <laughs> <Awesome. Okay. laughs> okay, so this is talking about now. This is a kingdom value right here. Don't lay up for yourself treasures on earth where moths and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor or rust destroys, where thieves do not break in and steal. So Treasures in heaven. We talking about treasures in heaven. Stopping from um, nineteen and twenty. Treasures in heaven. What do you think the treasures in heaven is that thieves can't steal? Well, um, um, well, um, well, I mean, this thing off the top of your head, uh, you know, on all the stuff that you've been learning. What's the treasures in heaven that thieves can't steal? Mm -hmm. Is this the stuff that you guys down here on earth? Really? Yes. It is? No. Okay, because these are treasures in heaven. What would be treasures in heaven? Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta think. Put your thinking cap on. Treasures in heaven. 
Oh, we just got finished talking about some treasures, right? That God has uh values. Huh? Values. Values, yeah, values, but what values? Oh, gosh. Right. <laughs> so, gift. Your gift, okay, your gifts, all right? That gift, these can't steal this gift that you have because it's a spiritual gift, right? That's in heaven, right? Yes. That's, that's a treasure from heaven, your spiritual gift, all right? So uh, uh, what else? Is a uh, treasure in heaven. Your turn. Um, Did you say your turn? I said it to Lonnie. Oh, your turn. Wait, yeah. why isn't the Moors kids answering? Huh? Why aren't the Moors kids answering? No, your business. You answer. They're not in. They're not in. It's probably their mom's birthday, so they're probably not in. Oh, okay. We're here. Oh, well, can I see you on here? How come? Come on, see. Oh, it's our aunt's birthday. Hello. Yes, sir. Are you on here or not? Cause I don't see. Right here. Hey. Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, I gotta open this thing all the way up. Okay, they there. All right, y'all. Answer too. I oh, thought y'all yeah. weren't here. Oh, you're kind of crazy. So what are some heavenly treasures? Uh, just can't read through this. Y'all need to know what heaven, you know, lay up for yourself. Treasures in heaven. You just can't read it. You got to know what treasures in heaven is. <coughs> that's a kingdom value. Um, those treasures that's in heaven is a kingdom value. Uh, okay, we got some answers on here on Facebook. Uh, I'm a, they gonna give y'all a clue, all right? Okay. Ah, uh, thank you. See, you. hey Sandra, I see you. Thank you for being here. Um, Miss Anita put down first. Um, some brother Anthony said he loved you guys. Okay, <laughs> Miss Anita, she put down uh, treasures are belief, love. I can't see the rest of this thing is in the way. Okay, your faith. Y'all got this? I hope y'all writing that down. Huh? Hope you're writing it down. She's Anita's giving you some treasures that's in heaven that thieves cannot steal. Love. Wait, wait, wait. wait your belief. Wait. Faith. Oh, Let me see what else Anita got down here. Uh, God. Oh. Your love for God. And God. Treasures in heaven. Hey. Okay, what y'all think about that? Those treasures in heaven? Yeah. And King gave one is your gift that you got from heaven. And those gifts and gifts? Hey. spiritual gifts. You the only one that give us your spiritual gift, uh, your, your your assessment that you're supposed to take. But um, I'll get you before you go home. So those who have took it, y'all understand what, we, what I'm saying about spiritual gifts. This is what you got to hone in on. Like like basketball players, what do they do to make themselves great? Try. Practice. Okay. What they do? Uh, practice. practice. Practice, practice, practice. That's why your spiritual gift you need. That's why I'm giving y'all a clue of something y'all need to do. You need to go on to Google for those who did the assessment and, and the part that you thought that was you, you should that's the part you need to look up that you thought was you. Okay? You're supposed to go on the internet and find out everything you can about that part that you thought was you. That's your assignment. That's your assignment that's part of your assignment because you need to know what you're doing. You got that? So a gift, you got to hone in. You practice, practice, practice. You you find out everything about it. You look it up. You you ask God. You spend time when you when you spend that place in God's presence. You you ask, oh uh, God, how do you want me to use this? Look at your feet. 
And then God will give you some downloads. He will speak to you spirit to spirit. He will show you in his word. And the spirit in the spirit of God that's in you will guide and lead you into all truth. Got it? Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth. Because why? Because moth and rust will destroy with thieves where thieves will break in and steal. So all this stuff, that, this beautiful stuff, you know, you sit on, stuff you drive in, you know, nice clothes and all those things, those are earthly things that a thief can steal or it can get rusty or you don't like it no more or you want a different kind. <laughs> you know how y'all are. So <laughs> those are things that are, do not lay up for yourself treasures on earth it's nothing wrong with having nice stuff but don't make it a, a, a god okay don't worship it all right y'all got that yeah for where because it says for where your treasures is there will your heart be also so if you love that stuff more than you love what god has for you and the life that he has for you then you are that's where your treasure will be but if you want with everything that God has for you, you will, that's where your heart would be, okay? That's why it says at the end of this verse, uh, on verse 24, it says, you cannot serve God and mammon. Now, if you are ambassador of God, you don't have to worry about clothes and food. It tells you that in Matthew 6. If you read Matthew 6, what, 25 on down? About that God already knows what you have need of. Y'all got that? Yeah. yeah. This must be for somebody because this wasn't part where what I was supposed to be saying it. But anyway, <laughs> but God already knows what you have need of. But if you are doing his business with the things he had called you to, he will take care of you of the things that you need. So he says, don't why he said, don't take no thought. If you're doing what God has called you to do. Don't take no fall. If you need an airplane to get to where he wants you to go, you believe me, he will make sure you have an airplane to get there. Got it? Got it. Yep. Yeah, I'm right, because ambassadors, uh, when if you're an ambassador, ambassadors don't worry about what they're going to eat. They don't worry about what they're going to wear. They don't worry about how they're going to get to where they're going to go because the governor takes care of the ambassadors wherever they go. Got it? Yeah. 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 All right. So y'all gotta learn who you are, what you possess, and how how to use what you got, and and then you need to know what you got. You can you need to know what kind of treasures God has sent you here with that that solves a problem that's in the earth. Y'all got it. Yes. Yeah. All right. So. What do they say over there with the grass at? Um, Can y'all see that? Um, what are we looking at again? The side where the grass at. The picture with the grass and the flowers at over there? We don't see it. Y'all don't see it? Uh huh. If you know, uh, you are the salt of the earth. You are the. Oh, it took a few minutes to get over there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, that's right. Y'all are North Carolina, so it take a little bit to get over there. All right. You are the salt of the earth. Now, the, me and me and your father, he do this joke with me all the time, so he got me saying it now. He'd be like, "How you doing?" I'd be like, "I, I, I am highly flavored." Because I am the salt of the earth. <laughs> I, am I am blessed and highly flavored. Okay. <laughs> because I am the salt of the earth. Okay. So, yes, you are the salt of the earth. Matthew 5 13. And these are some of the uh, who are you? You are the salt of the earth. And, and as you learn about what salt does, okay. These are some of the things we can be doing besides saying I'm bored, okay? 
you'd be looking up, uh, why did God call us the salt of the earth? And then find look up what salt does, okay? This is some things you could be looking up, and this is help you uh, understand why he's calling you these things, all right? So what do this, uh, this side over here says? We believe in having a kingdom mentality. I don't know, just, just read that part because this other part, I don't know what that is. Um, up here on the top, it says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Y'all can say that with me. Our Father, one, two, three, let's go. Our Father, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Amen. Amen. So having a kingdom mentality, it comes from you studying the kingdom. You must the kingdom must be studied. The kingdom must be obeyed. The message of the kingdom must be obeyed, seeking this kingdom first and his righteousness. This is how you get the mentality of the kingdom. You study the kingdom. You you uh live the kingdom. Once you study it, you gotta understand it too. Because without understanding, you can't even live it if you don't understand it. Y'all got that? Yes. No, no. Yes. All right. Yes. So kingdom values. We still on the kingdom values. I got a few more minutes here. Values are our Christian foundation. Let me see. Of a spiritual uh spiritual root system in Christ Jesus. Our life choices uh, are driven by these values. This thing keep moving around. Okay. What do I do? Push the button. Okay. <laughs> All right. They en enable us to accomplish God's vision and mission, both personally and corporately. So the value of faith, harbor. Uh, that's a that's a, a church. We don't want that value right there. You want the value that God gave y'all, so I'll finish that one. Let's move up to the next one. The king, somebody read this one here over here with the scripture at. Read that. Um, the kingdom of God is near. Learning kingdom values. Luke yes. 12, 29, 32. 32, and we, I guess we have to come back to that later, but oh, let's read over here what kingdom values one of the somebody read that one of the core kingdom values that is possibly linked to more personal destruction than anything else is personal responsibility personal responsibility a lot of people don't want to be responsible for nothing they want the other person to do it and i'll just help all right but we we say in the kingdom you're leaders right yeah. Are we leaders or not? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You are a leader and as kingdom citizens. Everybody in the kingdom is a leader. Okay. So one of the core kingdom values that is possibly linked to more personal destruction is that a lot of people don't know that they're leaders. That they have, um, and it even tells you in Genesis 126, after he says that let us make man in our image and after our likeness, what do he says then after that? Anybody know? Um. What do he say after that? And we're gonna stop after we find out what that says. You can turn to Genesis 126 if you don't know. I mean, that should be easy to find, right? <laughs> Genesis 126. Uh, let us have dominion over the earth. Yes, let us. He says, first he says, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. That's what, that's your creative value. And then he says, let them have dominion. Dominion means what? Uh, rule. Rule. Let them rule over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. 
That means that you are you have dominion authority. So you you got to learn that you are you are, you have authority, which authority comes responsibility. Y'all got that? Uh, yeah. So what comes with authority? Rule. <laughs> responsibility. Yeah. All right, write that down, okay? What comes with authority? Responsibility. Respon Everybody say that with me. Responsibility. Responsibility. Comes with authority. So as a leader, as a leader. I am a, I am responsible. All right, so y'all need to, we're going to be learning about some responsibilities because in the kingdom, we don't be hiding behind things. We lead. Okay? You're responsible. You're a leader. Okay? Yeah. All right. So we're going to have to stop here and come back tomorrow. <clears throat> So, so far, tell me what you got. Um, your gifts are your values. Your gifts are your values. Yes, very good. All right, that's Leia. Somebody else. Come on, let's pop it out. Um, wait, wait, wait. Wait, I ain't hear you. Wait, wait. Go ahead, I'm waiting. Go ahead, um, we couldn't hear you, come on. The earth has a problem and God put the solution in us. The earth has a problem and God put the solution in us. Y'all got that? That's good, that's good, come on. What else you get? The kingdom of God is here. The kingdom of God is here. It's near. It's here. It's, it, and I want you to remember, not only is it here or near or at hand, but it's and yet to come, too. Okay? So make a note of that. Okay? It's here now and yet to come. All right? And I'll explain that a little later. I can't do it all now. Lionel, what you got? Okay, then. Um, I got. Hold on, I'm going my phone. All right, Anaya, you got anything? Why he doing that? She's not here. All right, King. Uh, Isaiah, you got anything? Uh, he said his thing. You did? Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say, Isaiah? Oh, you did say it. You're right. I'm sorry. We're uh, waiting for line now. You said the kingdom of God is here. Right. That's right. It's a good one, too. I forget uh, what it was because my, my notes were changed. But it said something about being a leader. You have to, like, finish your things. Okay. You're talking about being responsible? Yeah, being responsible means you have to be a leader and you have to finish your things. I'm glad you keep saying to finish your things and to remember that, okay? <laughs> wow. All right, as leaders, you are a you are you are responsible. You you're you're uh you have dominion authority, so that means you're a leader and you have in the leadership, you are responsible. So we all, all kingdom citizens are leaders. All kingdom citizens are ministers. All kingdom citizens, citizens are priests. Y'all got that? Take a note of that. We all leaders, we all ministers, we all priests. Now you need to know your assignment from God. You need to know your uh you need to know what your gift is that assist you in your purpose and reason why God sent you here. Y'all got that? 
Yeah. So, and so I want y'all to remember this before we close out is what is your unique value? So remember that solution plus, because remember God, God saw a problem in the earth. So he sent you with a solution to that problem. That's why you need to get in God's presence and find out what it is, how he wants you to use that gift that he has given you that's going to assist you. That gift that's a value. It's going to assist you in your assignment in the earth. And when you do those two together, it's going to make an impact. Got it? Because a problem that was in the earth is going to be solved. That's why it's going to be an impact. So if everybody do their part, we can make a great big impact in the earth. We're responsible for what goes on in the earth. Y'all got that since we're talking about responsibility. Y'all understand? Yeah. If, you, if you don't say, I don't understand, lady. <laughs> Raise your hand and say, you don't understand, okay? Yeah. All right. So you can't be effective if you don't understand what you're doing. All right, we're closing out. We need one person to pray, and then I'll see y'all, Lord willing, tomorrow. Tomorrow night, same time, same station. Know that I love y'all too, right? Mr. Nita yeah. said, hi, Anthony. I mean, Anthony. Lionel. Yeah. Mr. Nita said, hello. Hello. And then she said, hello, Ambassador. Oh, she calls me. No, I guess that's me. Queen. <laughs> hey, sis. And we got, I'm going to see if anybody got any uh, thing to say on here. All right, Anita gave us some words on uh, treasures in heaven. Did anybody remember what the treasures in heaven was? Um, what's the um, treasures in heaven? She gave them up. Did anybody take a note? Uh, uh, Mr. Anthony said ambassadors need oh, a... Wait a minute. Go ahead. Um, love. Mm-hmm. God and our love of God. That's okay, that's good. That's good. And you need faith too. Mr. Uh, Anthony put down ambassadors need a I can't see all of it. Let me see. I gotta take it off a little bit so I can see what I'm doing here. They need a uh oh Lord, what is this on there? Something Ambassadors' needs are met by the government that dispatched them. Amen. Yes. I think that's what they say. Ambassadors. And that's basically what I said. And so, yeah, that's the confirmation. Ambassadors' needs are met by the government that dispatched them. So, y'all can look up what ambassadors. Uh, uh, what all ambassadors do, so you can find out what you do as an ambassador from the kingdom of God. All right. So, did you notice all of these I M's that I mentioned tonight? Ambassadors. What else did I mention tonight? Stuff that you are. You have dominion, authority. You're the sons of God. Okay. <laughs> Awesome. Somebody's doing something in the chat room there. Uh, got four chats. Let me check the chats out. <laughs> Can y'all believe this young guy here in that line now? We're going to get ready to pray in a minute. But he's sending me a chat that says, it has passed 30 minutes. It's about to be 40 minutes. I'm going to beat his butt. <laughs> All right. Somebody pray us out. Not everybody at the same time. See y'all tomorrow, and thank y'all all for being here. Right. I see. Is that your hand? Yes. All right, because ain't nobody else volunteer. Go on and pray.
God, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything we have today. I hope that everyone has a great day. I hope that everyone learns something today. I hope that everyone knows that God loves you in Jesus' name. And on Jesus' name. And I hope that everyone knows that you are beautiful. And you have a great night's sleep. And in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for the prayer line out. God bless you. All right, everybody. God bless. Uh, uh, Miss Anita said, you are the salt of the herb. Yep. I remember putting that down here. Yep. Thank you. Flavor. <laughs> I love it. I used to say that too. Okay. Got it. <laughs> All right, y'all. Good night. Love y'all. See you tomorrow. God bless Bye. you. Chicken edges are better than french fries. Good night. Cat. <laughs> <laughs>